Well, good morning, everybody. At the time I am recording this, my video for yesterday is still not online because the horrible, horrible internet. Today we are going back to the unclaimed baggage center that I've been to a couple of times before. My son's birthday is coming up and we know a couple of things that we want to purchase from there. Uh, that's basically the last, all that's on our plates for today. driving for a little while we have made it to Scottsboro Alabama to the unclaimed baggage center and if you haven't seen my other episode where I was here I'll explain to you what this place is in just a minute but the name is kind of self-explanatory so we've come here to unclaimed baggage today because you can get stuff fairly cheap my son's birthday is in two days and he wanted a pair of beats by Dr. Dre and they sell them here and we paid uh, less than $50 for a for a pair of Beats by Dre wireless headphones and so that's why we came here unclaimed baggage basically what they do is they get luggage if you ride a plane or a train or anything and your luggage is lost those airline companies or, or bus companies or train companies, they have 90 days to re, you know, to, they have, there's 90 day period there where you have, you, if your luggage is lost, that you can still get it. But if that doesn't happen and you don't pick up your luggage, then all of it from all over the world is sent right here to Scottsboro, Alabama. They purchase it from the airlines and then they bust it open what they can sell, they put out to sell, what they can't sell. You know, they, they have four different bins when they open it up and they do demonstrations of it. They have a sale, a throwaway, a giveaway, um, and something else. And uh, so, you know, if it's broken and damaged and stuff, they throw it away or they'll do donations for clothes that they don't think they can sell. They do get a lot of new stuff in here sometimes. Let's say companies are shipping items in a crate or something and it gets lost and don't get picked up. Then, uh, you know, they wind up with brand new items. So this is a great place to shop. It's like a thrift store, but they have a lot of high-end goods. As a matter of fact, my, my big camera that I use for vlogging, my DSLR, came from here and uh, we got it almost $500 off the ticket price by purchasing it through here and they do offer a warranty with the stuff so it's really cool but uh, we weren't in there very long so uh, we're gonna hit the road again now <laughs> So this is what it is for tonight. I think I'm gonna stop somewhere and fly the drone, but my wife is off tonight. We're, we're not leaving because we went to Scottsboro today. So um, she wants to do a family dinner tonight and I promised her I would leave the camera at home. So uh, we wouldn't have an evening with me and a camera stuck to my face. So I stopped at uh, this, this old abandoned steel mill I thought it was pretty neat. I, there is this structure off in the middle of the field over here. I've been wanting to send the Mavic over there for quite some time, ever since we've been coming back and forth to Gadsden.
just so the day wasn't a total bust, at least I got to fly the Mavic over around this, uh, this old abandoned factory. By the way, now that you've seen uh, that abandoned building, I do have footage of those Walking Dead locations from yesterday if you would like to see them. being able to fly the drone today you know it seems like here lately I just I don't get to fly it that often anymore and I guess it's the places that I'm choosing to to go and vlog I don't know but uh, after that I had a good dinner with my wife and children with the family like I said I, uh, I didn't take the camera my wife asked for me not to have a camera stuck to my face you know so we could go out and have a nice dinner but uh, all together today has been a pretty enjoyable day. It's been kind of relaxing. I didn't have to worry about rushing to get somewhere to be able to have enough time to film and then rushing back, you know, to, uh, to make sure I was there in time to get Amy to work. Um, you know, we had a good time going over to Scottsboro, picking out my son's birthday present, which is coming up on Friday, but I think we're gonna celebrate it on Saturday because uh, Friday night we have a double header and uh, I think we'll, we'll, we got him the beach today. We'll get him a couple more things. Um, and then I think we're gonna go take him to watch Avengers Infinity War, which is gonna be an awesome movie. I can't wait for it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now. Tomorrow we go home. Seems like we hadn't been home in a long time. So thank goodness we finally get to go home tomorrow. I do want to thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great night. And I'll see you again tomorrow for a travel day.